Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? That was a good reminder, man. Like, yeah. It could be worse. <laughs> it was a good reminder, man. Of all the complaining I've done, it could yeah. be worse. It can always be worse. This is true. I mean, Jesus Christ. I appreciate that Jody's Corner statement where it's like, yo, check the tax records. Like, who got paid? Uh, how much did... I need to know how like how much the lights cost. Like, every little detail needs to be, like, accounted for. <laughs> 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 it's like, where, where did the money go? Someone explain that to me. All right, just watch a movie called Don't Move. Um, you God, don't it's... Move. Yeah, it's... Don't move, don't move, don't even move your thumb and turn this movie on. Don't do it. Just, just don't move, man. Let it go. <laughs> Skip this one, please. Uh, girl, a uh, guy who's a psycho killer guy who's, you know, I guess he's crazy or something. He has, he has past trauma and it, his past trauma turned him into like a, a killer. So what he did is he he drugged the hot chick from Yellowstone <laughs> to where she couldn't move. Thus, the movie is called "Don't Move." Uh, genius, genius concept. <laughs> hey, I get um, life trolled. This is part of this is part of the life trolling lesson. Life, life can't. <laughs> Listen, we, you just told the Yankees lose in embarrassing fashion. <laughs> now we have to embarrassingly watch this movie. That's life canon. That's life. That's how life goes. It's like, what else do you do? You, you, sometimes you're stuck. Stuck in a rut. You're stuck on the couch. You're, you're stuck somewhere. You, it, and you just, you just, you can't move. You just, it's like you, it's like you don't move. You know what I'm saying? Which is a, such a metaphorical concept of a movie. You just, sometimes you, sometimes you just don't move. You know? Except when the plot says it's convenient to move. Like, if you're like, uh, let's say you're in a horror movie and, uh, you know, everyone that could help you, like, pops up right in front of your face. You can't move at that moment, right? Because it's a horror movie. Duh. But as soon as you're one-on-one -on -one with a killer and no one else is around, you can start moving again. You can start moving, screaming, talking. You can sing the temptations. You can do a dance move. Whatever. All conveniences are now there as soon as the other, uh, I guess, tension-building plot characters are dispatched. Like poor Bill. Poor Bill, man. Vietnam vet. He's like out there. He's like, hey, listen, my wife, my wife, she died talking about how much I get in fights and shit. She's like, damn, you keep, you keep fucking people up, Bill. And I'm like, damn, honey, you're right, but like, sh I can't help it. But then Bill, you know, after his wife passed from a heart attack, I guess, Bill runs in, into the into the killer of this movie, this little pencil neck dweeb, and uh, Bill forgot how to fight all of a sudden. It's crazy. Guy's known for fucking people up. Forgot how to fight. It's crazy. Uh, the hard nosed cop that's like suspicious at every corner. He forgot how to do that shit, apparently, out of nowhere for the sake of letting this pencil neck dweeb survive. The serial killer, I mean. Uh, so it's like, it's, I don't know. I, I've never seen so much plot devices for the villain of the movie. That, that was just weird. Like, I think there was less plot devices saving the paralyzed girl who can't move <laughs> than there was for the, the serial killer that we want to get wrecked. But whatever. I, th I think I'm analyzing the movie a little bit too much. I think I'm giving it too much credit. It's a dog shit movie. I think it's poorly written. I think it's poorly directed. There's scenes where they're, they're staring at the woods for no reason. Like, I don't know. what like What are we looking at here? It's just like like the car drives away, there's empty, empty space there. 
and the camera sits there for an extra like five seconds. I'm like, what are we doing? Editing didn't clean that up at all. No, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's just a poorly made movie. Um, I'm thinking, God, I don't recommend. And I'm thinking like a, I think it's worse than Trap. It, it might be on par with Trap, because Trap Trap's kind of special. But I don't think it's worse than Trap. I don't. Uh... Tell me yeah, that wasn't so... Josh Hartnett, the the ba- the main bad guy in this movie. Tell me it wasn't Josh Hartnett in Trap. They're like the same character, same yeah, same horrible acting. <laughs> Josh Hartnett was like at least he was a little charming. This guy is <laughs> all over around over. Overall bad. And there's no, like, there's no payoff. There's no comedic payoff for it. It's yeah. just... It, I think, please, like, show me... Give me some sort of, uh, you know, d- d- wisp of fucking... Uh, I, I don't know, uh, nepotism or something. Like, give me, like... Uh, I want to hear, like, fan theories about fucking M. Knight's daughter, like, getting, like, so much screen time. Like, I want to hear theories like that. There's, there's nothing... That's not going to be here in this movie. So it's like, is this worse? I think it's worse. Just just on that alone. I want to hear about, like... I want to hear memes of M. Night, like, shoehorning his daughter into movies <laughs> to get her music off and show, like, her whole album plays during the entire movie. Yeah. You know, like, wreck me like that, man. This was just terrible wreckage. So I'm going to give it a worse grade, I think. I'm going to give this... uh God, only only horror movie season. I'm gonna give this a three point three out of ten. I think it's god awful. Not worth making. The the lead actress, the girl from Yellowstone. I don't even know if she can act now, cause she didn't have to, and she's just sitting still, like paralyzed and shit the whole time, like blinking and shit. It's like, dude, it's like, damn it, no payoff for me. I don't know, man. Even if you're just a perv looking for hot chicks, she's still just there paralyzed. Like, that's not attractive. Like her just paralyzed. Like oh, I can't move. Even that's like trash. If to look at this dude bending over in eight different fucking scenes. Like what are we doing here? Whatever. Point is, if you like this movie, stop watching movies. Watch something else. <laughs> <laughs> you failed. <laughs> you failed. Three point three out of ten. I do not recommend. Do you have a grade or a recommendation to anyone else? Please uh, no, it's fine. This shit is horrible. Don't move. Don't watch this shit. How about that? Alright, enjoy it.